Namo Buddhaya, this is Abhinav and I welcome you to this channel. Uh, I have been uh, researching on this thing that uh, there are various stages of awakening uh, in Buddhism and especially this very fact that uh, due to the practice of uh, inside meditation, our aim is uh, to, gen uh, to, uh, to, be, to reach the first stage which is the stream enter or Sotapanna. So I was researching on what exactly Buddha was said. So I was aware of these various stages, basically the four stages. Uh, but I wanted to find that discourse where Buddha has actually talked about the various levels or the various stages of uh, awakening. So finally I found that uh, this is the middle discourses 34 which is also known as the shorter discourse on the cow herd. And uh, this discourse, the link to the discourse is given in the description. In this discourse, Buddha is talking about the various levels of awakening or the various types of awakening that uh, happen. right? So let us discuss this, this discourse. Um, so here Buddha is actually giving the analogy of a cow herd. Right? So Buddha first says that uh, once upon a time mendicants, there was an unintelligent cow herd. Right? Uh, unintelligent or unexperienced cow herd. So what happened was that he had to carry the cattle from one shore to the other shore of the Ganges. So without inspecting the place where the water was, you know, shallow, he just took the, cow, uh, the, the herd. And what happened to that herd? is that the, uh, the herd got drowned, right? And then Buddha said about the another uh, 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 another uh, intelligent cow herd. So what that cow herd did was that first he drove the bulls, fathers and the leaders of the herd. First he examined both the shores, the near shore and the far shore. Then he found out the ford. That means the shallow place where he could uh, take the cattle. Then first he drove across the bulls, fathers and the leaders of the herd. And they 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 safely reached the far shore. Then he carried the uh, drove across the bullocks. Uh, they also uh, went to the next shore. Then he drove the cattle and the weak cattle, right? They also then went. And then 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 there was even a baby calf that had just been born. And he also that baby calf also could could reach the shore because the intelligent cowherd inspected both the shores before driving the cattle. So here Buddha is actually what he is doing is that he is trying to, so Buddha said that the unintelligent cow herd uh, was like a person who who uh, is not aware about, uh, uns is like an un ascetic or Brahmins who are unskilled in the world and the other world, unskilled in the Mara's domain and the opposite. If a person listens to them, it will be for, the, for their lasting harm and suffering and a skilled a uh, cowherd is like a uh, uh, basitic or Brahman who is skilled in the world, or who is skilled in the death's domain and the Mara's domain. If anyone thinks who are worth listening to and trusting, it will be for their lasting welfare and happiness. So Buddha was trying to divide, create a distinction between the teachers, right? So and basically the thing that it's like if you are listening to the Buddha, Buddha knows the path, what you need to walk. Buddha knows the domain of this world and the next. Buddha knows the domain of the Mara because Buddha has traveled the journey. Buddha has attained enlightenment. So if we follow the Buddha and his teachings, the Buddha will be like a cowherd who will take us from this shore to the other shore in a safe way. right? Unless uh, uh, as compared to a person who doesn't know the domains, doesn't know the near and far shore and then the cattle like the, the, the followers will get drowned. Right? So now Buddha talks about that uh, uh, Buddha says, the bulls, so the first Buddha says who got, you know, from one show to another show were the bulls, the strong bulls. So the bulls, uh, the father and the leaders of the herd, uh, just like the bulls, fathers and leaders of the herd who cross the Ganges to safety, are the mendicants who are perfected, who have ended the defilements, completed the spiritual journey, done what has to be done, laid down the burden, achieved their goal and utterly ended the fetters of the rebirth and are rightly freed through enlightenment. Having breasted Mara's stream, they have crossed over to the other shore. So these are the first set of people. And these people are called, in Pali called Arhans. Right? Arhans are persons who have completely, you know, done with the fetters, done with everything, complete extinguishment. They are freed from the cycle of birth and death. They will never up come again in the cycle of birth and death. And they are totally free. So that is the ultimate goal that we have. So that's the ultimate stage of being a arhan. Uh, below that stage is the stage of of a 
वंस रिटर्नर नॉन रिटर्नर सॉरी सो हेयर बुद्ध सेज जस्ट एज लाइक द स्ट्रॉन्ग एंड ट्रैक्टेबल कैटल हु क्रॉस द गैंजेज टू सेफ्टी आर द मेडिकेट्स हु विद द एंडिंग ऑफ द फाइव लोअर फैटर्स तो देर आर टोटल टेन फैटर्स सो फाइव लोअर फैटर्स आर सो देर आर फाइव हायर फैटर्स फाइव लोअर फैटर्स फैटर्स आर लाइक चेंज सो फाइव लोअर फैटर्स विच आर द फाइव लोअर फैटर्स इज बेसिकली सेल्फ आइडेंटिटी अनसर्टेनिटी ग्रैसपिंग सेंशुअल डिजायर्स एंड इल विल सो तो पीपल हुव एंडेड दोज फाइव लोअर फैटर्स आर रीबॉर्न स्पॉन्टेनियसली दे आर एक्सटिंग्विश देयर एंड आर नॉट लाइबल टू रिटर्न फ्रॉम दैट वर्ल्ड दे टू हैविंग ब्रेस्टेड मारा स्ट्रीम विल सेफली क्रॉस ओवर द फर्स्ट शो सो दिस इज द सेकेंड सेट ऑफ पीपल दीज पीपल आर कॉल्ड एज नॉन रिटर्नर्स अनागामी राइट अनागामी दीज पीपल दे डू नॉट रिटर्न टू दिस वर्ल्ड दे go to higher realms they whatever little is left they extinguish from there and then they get become an arhan they get free so they are the second stage now comes the third stage third stage are those of once returners so here buddha says just like the bullocks and the heifers who cross the ganges to safety and the mendicants who are the mendicants who with the ending of the three fetters and the weakening of greed hatred and delusion so three fetters they end and their greed hatred and delusion is weakened they become the once returners they come back to this world only once and then they make an end to suffering they too having breasted mara stream will safely cross the far shore so they only end come to this world this particular world only for once this particular you know human uh, realm only for once they only need to come once they are called the once returners once returners sakad gamin sakad gamin right in pali word right then it is like fourth is the the stream enterers right stream enterers which is basically in pali called sotapanna so buddha says just like the calves and the weak cattle who cross the ganges to safety are the mendicants who with the ending of the three fret fretters are stream enterers now in sotapanna and the sagad gamin both ended end their three fretters but so sagad gamin the one advantage is that they have even weakened the greed hate and del- delusion that's an advantage for them so that's why they are once returners but for stream and enter- stream enterers uh, what it is that they have ended the three fetters now they are not liable to be born in the underworld bound for awakening that means the biggest thing is that they will never be born again in the hell realms or the animal realms or the ghost realms so there is like a, a re- various realms of existence one is the hell realms elemental realms and the ghost realms right hungry ghosts then there is the human realm and then there is the realm of the gods so the best thing is that these stream enterers even if you reach the stream entry level right you become a stream enterer you will never ever be born in the lower realms right and that's a very very big thing because if we go into the lower realms because of our misdeeds in human or higher realms it is very difficult to come out of it because there you cannot practice there is so much suffering and there are hundreds and thousands of years is taken for the suffering to completely eliminate that karma to come back to the human life so our task in this life is to become a stream enterer right so that we do not we will never be uh, uh, liable to be born in the underworld and we are bound to awaken that means if i become a stream enterer i follow the teachings and become a stream enterer it so there is this thing that it takes up to seven births seven births for full enlightenment right only and only so i have su- seen so much suffering in all my previous lives and now there are only seven lives only at the max seven lives will be there that i can be totally free of suffering right so that's a that's a very very big benefit so we do not have to never never ever think that this human life is not of any use this life that we have got we have to fully follow the teachings of the buddha and what is the stream right what do you mean by stream stream is the noble eightfold path so when we when i start learning about noble eightfold path and i start practicing the noble eightfold path i do my insight meditation on daily basis i have basically started as it's like i have entered the stream right but to qualify as a stream enterer i have to end the three fetters so my task in this life first is to enter three fetters and then then progressively as you know in this birth on the for the birth i will move to the progressive levels of being a, a once returner or non returner or a complete arhant right that complete being an arhant is our goal but we have to go step by step have a 
clear daily routine of our practice, be mindful of our speech, our actions, right? So all these things we need to, so basically follow the Noble Eightfold Path, right? And then there is one more thing actually I could found. So there are four levels of awakening. One is stream enterer, once returner, non-returner, arhant. Four are, you know, I had actually heard of that also. But in this discourse, which is the shorter discourse on the cow herd, there is also one more thing about the baby calf. That a calf who has, who has just been born. So Buddha says, just like the baby calf who has just been born, but urged on by its mother's lowing. Lowing is the sound that mother says, come, come, come. So the calf comes, still manages to cross the Ganges to safety are the mendicants who are followers of the teachings, followers by faith. They too have breasted Mara's stream, will cross over to far show. So here very important is, definitely see Buddha's teachings is all about practice, implementation. But still, even if those people who cannot practice, but who are followers of the teachings and who have the faith in the Buddha, that the Buddha can take us to the other shore, they also will safely cross over to the other shore. Now, this is like the fifth stage or the fifth level of the you know awakening. Uh, I could not actually find a mention of this in some in the general four stages of awakening. I will do further research on this. It, is this a fifth stage or is it that only four stages are there? So this I am not very sure, but this is also the fifth stage where the person is just a follower of the teachings, has faith in the Buddha and uh, that Buddha will take him to the other show. So that is also, they will also cross the show. Right? So, but our first task, but then there is this risk about this fifth stage is that they can be born in hell or underworld on the realms and where they cannot practice and they can find intense suffering. So our first task is always to be as stream enterer because it is clearly mentioned in this discourse that they are not liable to be reborn in the underworld, bound for awakening. Maybe a baby calf is just not bound for awakening. They may take maybe 150 births more. But a stream enterer, a sotapanna, maximum 7 births. Right? So, see, all this is basically theory. What our important essential task is to follow the Noble Eightfold Path with as much diligence as possible. Right? Uh, this, all our life, our family, our work, career, everything should be around the practice of this Noble Eightfold Path. Do not risk anything for this practice of Eightfold Path. Do not risk anything for this for this practice. If there is somewhere you have to choose between some material pleasures or material uh, things versus following the Noble Eightfold Path, we should try to choose the Noble Eightfold Path, right? So that so then there is this last thing, a uh, set of uh, some uh, it's given like. This world and the other, Buddha said, this world and the other world has been clearly explained by the one who knows, right? Which is the Buddha, right? As well as the Mara's reach and what's out of that death, death's reach. So Buddha is the is the person who has traveled. Buddha knows what is the Mara's, how Mara will stuck us, how our mind will play games at us. The Buddha knows this whole thing about this world and the next and this entire cycle of samsara. So. The person who knows everything is telling you a clear way from this show to that show, which is the Noble Eightfold Path. Just trust in that and move forward. Directly knowing the whole world, the Buddha who understands has opened the door of the deathless. Knowing the world. See, who can open the door of the deathless? Only a person who knows the, the world. right? So directly knowing the whole world, the Buddha who understands has opened the door of deathless for finding the sanctuary extinguishment. The wicked one's stream, which is Mara's stream, has been cut. It's blown away and mown down. Be full of joy, mendicants. Set your heart on the sanctuary. Set basically set your heart on the extinguishment. Set your heart on Nirvana. Nibbana. Right? Set your heart on Nibbana. Just that freedom. Right? So this was the discourse. I this is a short discourse, but it was I thought to share this discourse. I hope it helps some of you. Uh, in getting clarity on the various levels of awakening. If you have any thoughts, comments, feedback, do share it in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you. Namo Buddhaya. Namo Buddhaya.